Sure, if you could, I'll just toss it in the recycle, but I might have to put more for it. Where get these at faces? Where'd you get yours? I love flats. I love flats all the time. Nineteen ninety nine. Look marvelous, huh? What? She said we have, she's making one paper pack? Paper. Oh! Paper. shows up because that's the only other item on the agenda. But I, I would like to point out that I'm gonna, we're going to cancel the August 6th minutes to wrap up, right? Um, I was talking about ordinance, but yeah. We should cancel this one too. Right? Oh, that, that's your pleasure. We can cancel next month? Sure. Put the police on until September? Sure. You any, you, is it okay with you? I'm sure the chief will cook all things. <laughs> yeah. And so is there any new business that we can discuss now? Yeah, I do, week? actually. Um, I'd like to ask where we are with that uh, abatement uh, ordinance. Do you know? No, I was given. I was given. It's actually with Attorney Seawall. Ah, okay. That's where he's. Okay. And I've not been told otherwise. So 
his review. It's under his review. So yeah. we recommended it out of here went to him and then we'll go to the, before the council. Uh, so if, there, if there are any stuff, substantive changes, would it go back to us or would it go? Maybe it'll come back to us and then we'll see. I'm not, I'm not sure. Okay. So maybe could you check? I don't think it was necessary sure. to go. Well, uh, maybe. I mean, I wish we'd had Dan Recuso back for whatever. But. Uh, I there's someone I'm waiting on, but I'll probably just try to get them to move it. August the the meeting would be August six. Yeah, that would be the first Monday. Oh, that's my birthday. I don't want to have a meeting. Cancel. Consider it canceled. <laughs> it's my husband's oh. birthday, too. Right? Really? Is that right? Yeah. That's a good date. Matt Ford, you know, you know the mayor, the mayor, the Mary Ford's son, Matt, his, his was on the 4th. Oh. And his mother and my mother were um, roommates in the, in, at Cooley Dick. I thought you were ahead of the oldest. They're really, they, they, they did the midwifery, uh, midwifery center there. You know, that's a bit more recent, but I think that's, that's one of the things they're very respected. They're, they're respected for is the, the referral. Okay. So my son's 33. The, uh, <laughs> at that time, they had the whole promotion to the Lamar method. Oh, really? Okay. Except that my doctor like cutting there, so we had to deliver without her. <laughs> <laughs> 33, that's all about the office. Right. That's a good year. How old are you? 34? 35 in November. 35? So you are 34. Yep. So 34 and a half. Yep. A little bit more. Why does he report to public safety? Because zoning is part of the health and welfare of its of the zoning is police powers. Oh. Building code and stuff. Okay. Well we reported to you after the tornadoes. Public safety. Well, things that, like that. that. Sense, right? Yeah. Yeah. I was ready home, I'll be back. Yeah, zoning enforcement is police powers. Oh, well, and yeah. how long So we'll resume. Louis? <laughs> a brief, a brief <laughs> update. We have to recognize uh, that. Okay. Um, it's since the last time I was here, which I think was in November or December, it's been very quiet in terms of emergency situations. Um, and that's heartening to me. I just assume not uh, spend the kind of time that we did in 2011. Um, I've just finished, just closed out the uh, 
last fiscal year in terms of permits and uh, have done haven't done a lot of analysis, but one thing that was surprising to me is we did 20 new single-family homes in Northampton. And for Northampton, that's a lot. We tend to work on existing buildings, and we're building, you know, in in with infill building. So 20 new single-family homes is more than we did, I think, in the last three years. Um, total cost of Estimated cost of construction was um, lower than the year before. Um, the permit fees were about $382,000. That's uh, about $70,000 less than the year before. So it was a, and, but the numbers, the actual number of permits was higher by several hundred because um, we did a lot of little permits. And that's what people did this past fiscal year. Projects, I think, over $3 million. And, and generally, in the course of a year, there'll be a number of projects that will be the estimated cost of construction more than, uh, more than $5 million. It's going to be up. It's going to be up. Yeah, um, usually, usually. And, and things, uh, I think we've had a lot of discussions about um, projects going forward, so I, I think we will be better. We've looked at the plans for the, the preliminary plans for three new car dealerships, <laughs> um, and uh, there's some discussion about another office building down on uh, um, on Atwood Drive. Phase um, two. I'm not sure what all else. So, what you said last year, last fiscal year or the, the or calendar year? Fiscal year. I, Fisc I work fiscal almost. year 2011. Right. I'm sorry. Fiscal year 2012. 2012 was was 380. Approximately. Um, the permit revenues were uh, yeah 382,000 as opposed to 456,000 for the year before. Right. And uh, that was off of a. Estimated value of work done. Um, well, the permit fees, some are prescribed fees. For instance, you do a roof, it doesn't matter how much it costs for, for a residential roof, it's $35. And, um, new buildings are actually a little less expensive than renovations. Renovations are based on $6 per thousand of estimated cost, but the new building is based on square footage. And so it's usually a good bit cheaper. It's a smaller permit fee for a, a new building. Um, you know, it's part of our intent to encourage uh, growth. Um, so it's hard to it's hard to create a straight across um, if you take in, you know, if people build thirty five million dollars um, worth of uh, construction, it's hard to create a straight line between uh, right. that and the permit revenues. Just, I'm sorry. Could you repeat what you said? That the, the the city has a intention or a policy of encouraging new new buildings over renovations. Well, I didn't I didn't quite say that. Okay. What I said is that the fee, the way the fee structure is set up, it's less expensive to do new construction than it is to renovate. And I didn't establish the fee structure, but I, I my sense is that it's a way to encourage people to. Do new construction in the sense that it increases our tax base. Um, you know, you could renovate, you could spend a lot of money and renovate the house, and you know, it gets a little bump in its value. But if you build a new house, there's another structure of the tax rolls. Hmm. So most municipalities have it set up that way, uh -huh. um, in the sense that you know, if you took the if you took the estimated construction cost of a new house and multiplied it by the, the, the dollar factor, whether it's $5, $6, $10 per thousand of estimated cost, the permit fee would be more than the permit fee would be calculated on the square footage. Now, can, I'm sorry. Uh, can you, can you, would 
this a renovation, would you consider a renovation the same as adding, a, for instance, adding a unit to a, to a building, or would that be considered new construction? No, if we, when you add to the footprint, mm -hmm. like say you say at a single family, that would be new, built a, a second right. unit, so you made it into a two family, that would be new construction. But if it's the same footprint and if it's a single family home that you split into two families by adding a, you know, putting a new kitchen in, no, that would simply be the cost of the that would be the renovation. Right. Okay, so would you, I mean, if, like you said, other communities do it very similarly. Right. Is it that it's a discount for new construction or that is it a sort of, I mean, what, what, what do you think the, how would you say the fees fall as far as for new construction? Is new construction a discount or is, is renovations more expensive? Is it a premium on renovation or is new construction a discount? I think there's two different ways to look at it. I mean, one, um, one perspective is that it's a discount on the cost of new construction because that does add to the tax roll. Um, new construction does usually require fewer inspections. You get to see the whole thing at once. It's you know, the building process is very prescribed. Um, so as far as just the cost to your department goes, it's... Right. And, and the fees generally reflect the cost of providing the services. Whereas with renovations, you have to inspect as the process it's moves along. Usually a, quite a lot of discussion that goes on, and usually, you know, um, even on a smaller project, there, there are... You could, there could be a situation where you'd have a project where the permit fee was $55 and you'd have as many inspections as you would for a new house because you'd have to go back several times. And, um, you know, there'd be potentially some changes or uh, un unexpected conditions opened up. And with new construction, you generally don't see that. You generally, the plans are drawn and the project's <coughs> built. So it's it's by square footage with new construction and renovations is six dollars per thousand. Yeah, it's a number of dollars per thousand. You know, I'm, I'm using Northampton's piece. It's six. It's six. six. Okay. Okay. So yeah, what's that? I mean, for a, these the new single family homes. Is that mostly Small. up? Was that mostly up on uh, Hospital Hill there? Or? Um, I'm sorry. I don't have the. I don't have the. Hill Hill. Hill. Um, I think a lot of them were, but Bear Hill has been doing uh, the Bear Hill development. Mark Warner Drive has been. Um, Emerson. And, okay. and Emerson, Emerson Way. Yeah. Bear Hill yeah. by Jack Gay. Yeah. That's been around for a while now, hasn't it? Well, new houses every. Uh, Still. I mean, yeah, they're. And I think, in fact, they're only about half or two-thirds built out. And there's, you know, they did it in a, a there's a fairly dense uh, um, plot plan. Uh, um, what else? What's Emerson Way. Emerson Way. It's a new subdivision. It's actually a really old subdivision that finally got brought back to life off Burke's Road. Road. Okay. Um, and they, there's a lot of room there, too. They got a lot of lots. They've got, I think, 50 lots. I'm not sure that they'll build them all out, um, but I think that they go numbers one through 50. So just to follow up just the last bit on this renovations, if, if you're adding, maybe we can talk about this offline, but I'm very curious in, about the, about, for instance, adding a unit of infill versus a unit I mean, dividing an existing structure. Yes, yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, whatever depends on, it really depends on the structure. If right. it were relatively simple to create, a, like, a horizontal division so that you've got a downstairs, upstairs, and all you're adding are the entrances to the outside in the kitchen, it'd be quite inexpensive to do it that way. Whereas you're taking a big Victorian and you're trying to divide it up into three units, 
Um, anything over two units now is going to require a sprinkler system. So you know, it gets quite expensive pretty quickly. So maybe we, maybe I'd like to maybe if one day I'll come down and see some of the numbers. Thank I mean, one way to be, you know one way to keep it inexpensive is to go with a small um, you know small and efficient uh, buildings. There's a couple of the new ones up on Hospital Hill that. Permit fee is going to be somewhere around eight hundred dollars because they're small footprint buildings, and for a new for a new house building permit, I think that's very reasonable. Actually. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You, you said before, uh, a long actually a long time ago, that Northampton's pretty vague in its ordinance about uh, piles of junk. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's the sort of? Can you review what the sort of the what your powers are regarding big piles of junk? My, as, as a zoning enforcement officer, I'm focused on activities, not results. And so if there was a pile of junk were the result of an activity, then I could go and, and we would pursue that. There was a, a, a property on uh, Glendale uh, that we dealt with, I think, FY10 and FY11 again, and we focused on the activity that that the person was, you know, um, gathering scrap metal, and then um, and we put uh, made him stop doing that and get rid of the metal that he accumulated. So my um, my enforcement is generally around activity, and the board of health, the, the board of health over, has has over. A, a number of. Yeah, uh, regulations that might apply for junk. Trash. Yeah, decomposing junk. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Anything else? I'm good. All right, well. Thank you. Should move on. Thanks, Lloyd. Yeah. Can I ask? Uh, can you hang on? I just want. Unrelated question, but not part of the meeting to ask. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so the next meeting will be not until September. September um, 10th? September 10th at 6. Right? No, I'm sorry, it's 5. So 10 to 5? Is there a motion to adjourn? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.